if you look close at my ankle, if you want to pull it, pull in close, I'm going to let my lateral hip muscles turn off and I'm going to let my foot kind of collapse over. And what you're seeing is my foot is actually doing this. So the traction of the ground against the relaxation of the hip causes an internal rotation of the femur, but the traction of the ground actually grips the bottom of my foot, which causes the top part of my foot to come over. So I have a femur that internally rotates. I have a shank where the top is rotating in, but because of the traction of the bottom, there's a net kind of external rotation of the lower half relative to the upper half, and rotation isn't really the proper term. There is no anatomical term for what's going on there. The axis of my ankle deforms in three planes. Not only does it displace sideways, it's also rotating and then it's also lowering down to the ground just because of the way the levers kind of stack up against this weakness. So I, there's no muscle that displaces the bottom of the foot. They don't, there's no muscle that creates a smear of the foot. Um, I'm not in, I'm not firing my internal rotators to get into this position. This is just what happens when I take a step with this weakness that's going on. So that's all for right now. I don't have any more time as you can hear and uh, uh, whatever. I don't know.